Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Soft Arranger on a Mac computer. If you are on a Windows machine, the process is almost identical, but you might want to check out my other video which is made especially for that. The whole process shouldn't take more than about 15 or 20 minutes, and when you're finished, you'll have a truly functional uh, software-based MIDI arranger on your computer for free. The only software that isn't 100% free is Reaper, which allows you a 60 days to evaluate it. And after that, it's still fully functional, just that you are expected to buy a license. License is dirt cheap, so I highly uh, recommend uh, getting one. Needless to say, I'm not sponsored or affiliated with Reaper in any way. I just chose this DAW because of its uh, being multi-platform, its uh, flexibility, and in general, I just found that there was no better DAW uh, for this project, uh, mostly because of its open-mindedness. If you're not exactly sure what a MIDI arranger is, you can think about it as if it was a band that you're going to be controlling from your computer or from your keyboard. Uh, that's basically the analogy I'm going to be using throughout this tutorial. So, let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is get your band members together, and that would be equivalent to the Soft Arranger application. Go to softarranger.com and in the downloads section, get the right version for your operating system. When you're done downloading, unpack the zip file and you can put this folder anywhere you like on your computer. For this video, I'll be putting it in my Documents folder. Inside this Soft Arranger package folder, you will find the installer which you can double click to install the application. As usual, when you get the draggable icon, you just need to drop it in your Applications folder and that's it. Now that you have a band, you'll need a place for them to perform, like for example, a recording studio. This is where Reaper comes in. To get this digital audio workstation, go to reaper.fm slash download.php, get the right version of Reaper for your computer, and start the installer as usual. But we're going to do a portable install. This is mostly because that way, we won't affect other installations of Reaper if you already have it installed on your computer. So, when it comes time to drag the Reaper icon, instead of dropping it in the Applications folder, you're going to drop it in the Reaper folder, which is inside the Soft Arranger Package folder. Once you're done installing it, just open Reaper for a moment. This is required because the first time you run Reaper, it will create a series of folders and files which you will need to continue setting everything up. For the moment, you don't need to select an audio device because we'll do that later. So just click on Still Evaluating and close Reaper again. Now we're going to get some instruments for your band to play in the studio. For this, we'll use TX16WX, which is a sampler synth plugin. Go to TX16WX.com, download the right version for your computer, and install it as you would usually do. Alright, when that's finished installing, go to sws-extension.org and download this extension. 
SWS SNM will allow you to recall presets on Reaper via MIDI, and it also adds a lot of flexibility and cool features to Reaper. Start the installer, and when it comes time to drag the icon, drop it inside the User Plugins folder, which is inside the Reaper folder, which again is located inside your Soft Arranger Package folder. Now is a good time to clean up your desktop a little if you want. Now that that's out of the way, you're going to create a virtual MIDI cable. This is necessary for connecting Soft Arranger to Reaper via MIDI. To create this virtual MIDI cable, find the Audio MIDI Setup on your computer. Go to the menu and click on Window and then Show MIDI Studio. Double click on IAC Driver, click the plus button to create a new port and double click on this new port you just created to rename it to Arranger Port. You want to make sure the device is online and hit Apply. Next, we're going to set some configurations in Reaper. Open Reaper by double clicking on the icon inside Soft Arranger Package slash Reaper. And when it starts, go to the menu Options Preferences. Go to General, Keyboard Multi-Touch, Assign Keyboard Shortcuts to Actions or Change Existing Shortcuts. In the window that pops up, click Import Export, and then Import. And select the SA Actions Key Map in the Soft Arranger Package slash Reaper slash Key Maps folder. Now go to Audio, Device, Audio Device. Choose the device you'll be using. This will depend on your particular setup, but the default will probably be fine. Now go to Audio, MIDI Devices, MIDI Inputs to make available. Right click on Arranger Port and select Enable Input and right click again and enable input for control messages. Finally go to appearance, track control panels, volume fader range, and where it says 2, you've got to change from plus 12 to plus 9 dB. You are now finished setting up Reaper. Close the preferences window and let's go on to configure some things in Soft Arranger. If the first time you start Soft Arranger, you get a message like this, that's because I have preferred not to pay Apple just to become an identified developer. All you have to do is click OK and go to your System Preferences, Security and Privacy, click on General, and at the bottom you'll see a message about Soft Arranger and you can click on Open Anyway. So the first thing you're going to have to set up is how you'll be playing the chords for the arranger. You can use a MIDI keyboard. In this case, you must set the MIDI keyboard to transmit on channel 3 and you must tell Soft Arranger which device you're going to use from the list of available devices on your system. In my case, I'll be using my USB Oxygen 61 keyboard. In an arranger keyboard, the left part of the keyboard is usually used to play chords and the right part of the keyboard to play the melody. Here, you can set where you want to divide the keyboard for each purpose. For the moment, you can leave this at the default MIDI Note 59, which is right below middle C. If you don't have a MIDI keyboard, you can just use your computer keyboard and you don't have to set anything else. If you want to add a second MIDI keyboard to play with two keyboards, you must set it to MIDI Channel 4, and as you did before, you have to select the right device from the ones available on your computer. You will need some way to control the arranger, as in starting, stopping, playing intros, loops, or whatever. You can do that just by clicking the buttons on the screen, you can use your PC keyboard, or you can use a MIDI controller. 
At this time, only different flavors of Novation Launchpad are supported, but let me know in the comments if you would like Soft Arranger to support your controller, and I'll definitely take a look into it. Now, we need a MIDI port to send all the MIDI data that is generated by Soft Arranger to Reaper. So here, you must select the Arranger port which we created before. In my configuration, the way Reaper changes instruments is by MIDI control change messages. So if we want any program change messages that may be present in our styles or MIDI files converted to control change messages, you must have this selected. Finally, you have to tell Soft Arranger where you keep your styles on your computer. In our case, it will be the styles folder which is inside the Soft Arranger package folder. Please note that you must select a file inside the folder for this selector to work. Any file will do, but it must be a file, not a folder. Now just hit OK and you're done. So that's it. Whenever you want to use your MIDI arranger, all you have to do is open your sa.rpp file with Reaper and then Soft Arranger, and you're ready to start jamming. Please stop by softarranger.com often to check for software updates and new styles which will be coming out on a weekly basis. I hope you enjoyed this video, and now go and have some fun making music! Soft Arranger, Soft Arranger.